In addition to an optimized trace mineral nutrition program that includes a Vela Sow from Zinpro, implementing management practices such as corrective and functional trimming of overgrown claws can improve sow comfort, locomotion, and productivity. Claw trimming focuses on three objectives. Return the claw to its normal length and shape by removing overgrowth, balance weight distribution within and between the claws, and finally, correctively trim excessive heel overgrowth and erosion. Proper trimming cannot be done unless the animal is adequately restrained and poses minimal opportunity of inflicting injury to itself or the trimmer. The Feet First Shoot from Zinpro Corporation provides a secure, comfortable, low-stress way to easily lift sows and gilts in order to inspect and trim their feet. Before you begin, be sure to put on the recommended personal protective equipment. Note that the claw trimming process generates considerable dust, so a dust mask is highly recommended. We also recommend wearing heavy gloves, such as welding gloves, to protect your hands and forearms. Always use hearing protection when using an electric grinder. And finally, a face mask and eye protection will protect your face and eyes from dust and claw fragments. Here are the specific tools you'll need to make the claw trimming process efficient and comfortable. A ruler and a marker to measure how much of the claw and dew claw to trim. Nippers to shorten dew claws. A small electric angle grinder to trim the dew claw and help shape and shorten the toes. And padded hobbles as needed. These are placed on the sow's front legs to hold them steady for extra safety. During the video, we will use specific terms related to the anatomy of the sow foot. It's important to understand these parts of the foot before starting the trimming process. Looking at the foot from a rear view, you will see the dew claw, heel, sole, wall, and the white line. A side view reveals the external coronary band, wall, white line, sole, heel, and the internal corium. Measuring the sow's toe length is the first step. After loading the sow into the feet first chute, use the ruler to measure 55 to 60 millimeters down from the coronary band, the area where the claw meets the skin of the leg to the tip of the toe. Use the marker to mark a solid line on the toe. The area from the line to the tip of the toe will be trimmed. Then, place the dew claw against the foot and mark where the coronary band lines up with the dew claw. This indicates how much of the dew claw will need to be trimmed. Care must be taken to not trim toes and dew claws too short as this can cause discomfort to the animal. To reduce the toe length, use the angle grinder to grind the toe back to the measurement mark. Trim the toes on both claws little by little until they are the desired length. Be careful not to trim too much, as you can cut into the corium and blood vessels and cause soreness and discomfort to the sow. If necessary, use the angle grinder to shape the toe. Both claws are now at a normal length. Overgrowth of the dew claws can predispose the sow to injury. The dew claw should be trimmed even with the top of the coronary band using the hoof nippers or the angle grinder. When using the nippers, trim the dew claw and then round off the dew claw using the angle grinder. Trimming should be done in small increments to minimize risk of cutting into the corium. When trimming a sow claw, it's important to balance the weight-bearing surface. First, check each claw for abnormalities in the weight-bearing surface, such as a thick overgrown sole or heel overgrowth and erosion, and an uneven heel height between inner and outer claws. Using the angle grinder, correct the bearing surface on the sole of the inner and outer claws. Check the balance of each claw. Place the sow's foot in the palm of your hand and apply upward pressure to see if there is equal pressure on both claws. This is important to ensure the sow's weight is balanced on both claws when walking. When finished, the sole should be flat and even with each other, improving the balance of weight bearing within and between the outer and the inner claws. For optimum foot health, the dorsal wall of both sow claws should be straight. Inspect the claw for excessive curve in the dorsal wall. If present, straighten the claw by carefully reshaping it with the angle grinder. Be careful to grind only in small increments to avoid reaching the corium. When finished, both dorsal walls should be straight and even across. We've now returned the foot to its correct shape and restored normal weight distribution for the sow ultimately improving sow locomotion and productivity. 
For more information on Avela sow and claw trimming, contact your Zinpro representative or visit zinpro.com. 